I think what's exciting about the beauty industry is that there's lots of different parts of the industry now and I think that we have established um, we have established a spa industry, we have a nail industry, you'll notice there are dedicated salons to each area. Um, you do have your, um, your local salon that has the waxing facials and massage um, and they'll do nails and, and all of the, um, the typical beauty treatments um, but you also have your dermal clinicians that can be in the salon or they have their own dermal clinic and um, you have the beauty therapists that want to move into dermal. It's just such a broad industry but people move um, back and forward to different areas and I think that's really nice. I think it's important that everyone knows where each um, profession fits uh, and I think it's really um, exciting that we've evolved and we've really established ourselves. So new in the training package, we've rearranged the chapters so that the chapters are actually units and they're broken down into elements and performance criteria. So every red heading is an element and every blue heading is a performance criteria so that it's broken down and the teacher and the um, student can both see where in the training package each part of the content is covered. So we've made sure that the book is usable um, for people who want to deliver the Certificate 3, the Certificate 4 and the Diploma um, in a way that we tend to cluster the subjects. So we tend to have spa, we tend to deliver it with Indian head massage and aromatherapy and with stone massage. So we've made sure that they're all in the book. Um, people that tend to be a bit more um, discriminatory over whether they decide to do intimate waxing, well they are off, they are in the um, online content. Um, we've kept the performance criteria and the elements in the printed text and we've got all the underpinning knowledge um, in the workbook and we've made sure that the student is engaged so that we have made the workbook an activity book and added content um, that is complicated or detailed or um, doesn't really slot in well with the um, content in the printed text is all in the workbook. Um, you'll see all of the headings in the workbook are uh, performance evidence um, with the relevant knowledge evidence um, slotted in there and every activity is um, a learning activity or it can be an accessible activity as well so the teachers have freedom to um, take what they like. I'm really proud of the fact that I've developed a resource that is um, very user friendly for teachers and for students and um, I've, I'm proud of the addition of um, more um, on sustainability and on the work health and safety. Um, I've done a lot of collaboration with uh, sustainable salons and they have um, helped to improve um, the hairdressing industry in particular but they're moving in on the beauty industry and that's really exciting because they um, they uh, that they're the first the industry first with um, sustainable practices for our industry. We help the instructor by providing a solutions manual. So every question, we have the end of chapter questions have solutions. The in chapter activities have solutions or suggested solutions as appropriate. And we have um, solutions for the workbook as well. Some of them might be web links, some of them might be um, literal answers. Um, but it helps for the instructor to just have the whole book mapped to the training package, obviously. So there's no mapping um, required. 